Hello, YouTubians. How are you guys doing today? It is me, Xander X, the Love It's Man of Life, and I'm here today to give you another mid map control video madness out of this world. And it's on the um, map Greenland, Green Hand, Green Hand, is that right? I think it's Green Hand. Um, and I'm using the AK 12. Now, for me, uh, particularly, that was not the best choice, but for some reason, um, I had been playing these guys for a while, and it seemed like they were running a lot of um, quick draw and uh, like the quick draw stuff and stuff like that. And the bow, for some reason, wasn't getting the job done with them. So I ended up just, I ended up just uh, you needing to use the AK-12 because I decided I was going to take more of the defensive position. See, that's when you got to decide. When you've been playing a group for a while, you know you start to learn how they play. So you have to start playing into into their they need you need to force them to play into your hand and what i did is i ended up letting them for, force them to play into my hand by um controlling a part of the map i play completely defensive you see me right here i'm looking over towards b flag they keep running out of there i got the upper hand and i can swoop over to the right of the map a little bit without coming out of cover too much shooting the guys to the left or i can come off the left side of this wall shoot the guys and allow my team to take these flags and everything and i save this teammate right here because i had heard that guy jetpacking from the left that's what's the good thing about good and getting, and getting headsets and once you tune them to perfectness you just they're like jetpack 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 and you shoot them in the face and you can if you listen now i'm starting to pick up on those cues because it was a new cue you had to pick up on you couldn't just pick up on running but for some reason when you're running you're loud as shit but when other people are listening for you running you're quiet so it comes down to exosuit um you can pretty much sneak up on someone unless they have their sound way up and everything like that but Get back in the mid-map control. You see me, this right here, I see I got swept from the left. I don't even know where that guy came from. Made no sense. Um, but I'm trying to hold down this this B flag so my team can come in, take the flag from them, but my team, for some reason, can't get close enough to this flag. Now, this is all weird, and it's coming down to... I got pissed off at that thing. I kept trying to sweep over there because it's, it's invisible. <laughs> but... I got pissed off. My team wasn't taking the flag, and it was just driving me crazy. So it, uh, then I also noticed I don't always have my headset plugged in, so I can't be like, take middle flag. What are you guys doing? You all suck. Blah, blah, blah. I get them pissed off. But like, I just want to show you guys a quick. This right here, mid-map control. Now, B, and you can, you can still shoot through the B flag wall. That wall that's right there, you can shoot right through it. And it's absolutely incredible. And I just I love it. Learning maps and manipulating maps to my advantage and making the other team play that way so I can get things done and kill people all day, every day. That's good. Now, I don't know what you guys want for this mid-map control type videos. Um, I could talk about this, how I played in the game, and I could talk about what I did when I was thinking at that point, and um, everything like that. Or you guys want me to break down technically where it's like pars in the picture, and I start booing an overview of the map and pointing where you're at and doing a lane thing. I was actually thinking about doing that, but I just I was like, yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of work. I don't know if anyone wants to see that because my channel isn't based off of that technical stuff. But if you guys do want to see that stuff, I will do that for you. I will take the time and I will make those videos where I have it to where you see the map and I'll be like see me here pause see this lane right here you can see this lane you can see this lane you can shoot through these walls blah 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 this is where they these are the only times they can see you so you need to worry about certain things I could do that stuff and I shoot this guy down but as you can see me in this video I strayed away from the middle map thing because um, for some reason my teammates were having a problem getting through the sides of the map because the middle of this map is absolutely insane like getting through the middle of this map is just like hell on wheels and you just can't do it because they have the other side actually has more advantage points towards B flag than we do we have a more defensive position so if you already have B flag like we're about to capture it right now or we were about to capture it I thought um, now we're losing a <laughs> You get all those points, and you, you can converge from the other side. You have a lot more waypoints to that direction on the other side of the map than you do our side of the map. So I ended up going, you just saw, going to the sides and pushing a little bit to the right and left, killing the guys over there that my team couldn't get past so, they could, my, uh, so my team could get past them. So that's so that's also another job of the mid map control. You have to learn when it's time for you to push forward because your team can't do it, but you have the capabilities of doing it because you're a better player or you've been watching this team play for a bit and you've been playing for a while, so you know how 
they manipulate the map and how long you gotta wait for certain things to happen. And there we go, Warbird kill streak. Yeah, I love that kill streak. Especially if you put aggressor on it. That thing gets so many kills and it doesn't get shot down because no one's running rockets. It's it's whatever. No one runs rockets. Not even on domination. It's weird. You put up that warbird and it's done. You win. Game over. Now, as you see, on this side of the map, we are our captain C flag, and then we're going up. I go up to the top because I know these a lot of my teammates are gonna try to swoop around the right, and I know a lot of players on this particular map are very aggressive on the um, exoshoot jumping. So what I did is I did the higher advantage because this is the beginning of the game. I wanted the higher advantage first just to see all these players jumping over so I could know how I need to manipulate the map and maybe take some guys off if they were jumping around. As you can see, I made my decision to go down the left side and then try to shoot this guy. But go down the left side of the map, but I didn't see anyone or see anything, and I decided not to after I got over there because there was no one jumping over there. But by the time we got over there, we ended up getting B-flag. So it came down to the point where we needed to control B-flag. So I stayed in a de another defensive position, um, hovering over C-flag and B-flag, which is just as good. And defensively, you could defend C a lot better than you could defend A when you're holding the other side. But A and B have a faster route between each other. C and B don't have such a fast route because you're sitting in the open and um, people can shoot you before you even know they're capping the flag and you're dead and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, on A side, where you, you there's places where you don't need to be on the roof to be able to still watch B. And see, I was on my way to another Warbird, but I, I don't know what happened. I got a little nervous or I wasn't paying attention or he surprised me. I can't really remember. This video was a little while ago. But um, you have to... Is mid map control. You have to learn when's the time to push, when's the time to control the side of the map. Because if the other team is pushing your team back and not allowing them to come up and they're capping the flags and they're taking them from you faster than you could do anything, I thought I could shoot this guy, but obviously I could not. For some reason, you can't shoot through this glass. It's invincible glass, <laughs> but you can shoot through other glass. It's, it's whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Sometimes this stuff is crazy. But as you saw, I was pushing up the right side. Now I'm trying to find this guy. Because I know he's here, and I know he's going to try to sweep through and get our guys coming across the sides to go to B. Because that's what we need right now. We need B. Um, we don't need C. But getting those flags like they are right now and getting C can reset the spawn, which allows us to get through their fortified, let's say, defenses. Let's say these guys are hardcore campers, and um, they're, ca they're camping the corners, and they're camping the flags in the same spots you would if you were on that side. So what you do is you push into their section, you kill the guys around their flag, you necessarily don't have to cap it, but what you can do is you can go down and just touch it and then stay on it long enough to where it will tell the enemy team that you're touching their flag. So they'll all break from their defensive perimeter and they'll go over there, allowing your team to move up a little further than usual. Usually you're going to die, especially if you're capping or you're trying to cap the flag by yourself. And it's just something that a lot of people need to learn. What's a good time to jump in? When's a good time to jump out? Pretty much, man. Like, I love what I call mid-map control. Like, you come in and you can manipulate the map by st staying alive on one side of the flag long enough. will reset the spawn to where everyone's spawning on the other side, which means then you can push forward a little bit more. Stay, push forward a little bit more. Stay, push forward a little bit more. And it's absolutely incredible. Well, I just want to let you guys know, leave a little comment down below letting me know what kind of stuff you want in these videos what kind of stuff if you want it to be more technical if you want it to be more uh, just map oriented where I show you a flag and I'm uh, show you the map of the flags where they're at and choke points and then I can show you in those in the games where I play in those choke points so I can show you how effective they can be I can walk you through mid map class setups for certain maps because the AK-12 yes is an awesome gun but on this particular map it's a little less effective if you're running and gunning, but you can put perks on it. You can put you can put perks that will help you. You can put attachments that can help you, and a bunch of other things out there that can help you. Let's say develop this um, feel of the map and everything. You also got to unlock uh, the gun um, supply drop so you get the different guns. I've only gotten two of these. I got the bleeder and the wrecker, which one does more damage and the other one has more handling. Um, when I'm using I started using, after this map, I started using the Wrecker because it had a little bit more handling and a larger clip. And that one I'm using a little bit more for, it, it didn't lose any damage, really. I think it lost one point in damage. 
Um, and it allows you to be a little bit more handily. It kind of turns it into a submachine gun ish, more like the bow. It's very fast, very quick at coming up. And that's just um, something that I think is is worth it. Now, if I can find some more um, AK-12 guns, I will tell you guys about it. But yes, leave comments down below. Let me know what you want to see in these videos, what you want to hear in these videos. Um, if you want to be more technical or you like the way it's going right now, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. Like the video, share the video, comment. See you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making it for you. I have two channels down below. One's my HD channel. One's my RuneScape channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you want to, you can leave a comment down there. I answer all comments. And I hope you subscribe. See you guys later.